I'm Coyote Peterson, and hiding underneath that old boat is a creature that's gonna make your skin crawl. Oh, right here, big one. In Homestead, Florida, traveling by airboat is the best way to navigate the Everglades and its surrounding areas. Once you're on foot, it's a whole new set of challenges that often present themselves in the form of biological landmines. And during the heat of the day like this, animals will seek refuge in the shade wherever they can find it. This old boat is a perfect example. We can find rattlesnakes, indigo snakes, any sorts of other creepy crawlies you can imagine hiding underneath this boat. All right, I'm gonna flip it. Watch your toes, Chance, watch your toes. Uh, if a rattlesnake comes shooting out, Mark, get out of the way. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Watch your toes. Oh, black widows. There's one. And there's one. Oh, right here, big one. This is the one we want to take a look at. That is Lady Death, the Black Widow. Now, it's a pretty tricky situation. I'm going to try to use a small stick to coax her onto a larger stick so I can get her up here for you guys to get a close look at. Uh, what I don't want to happen is for the spider to get spooked, run quickly onto my finger and bite me. That'll be the end of the scene, and it'll be off to the hospital for Coyote. All right, this is uh, it's kind of like that game operation. All right, let me see if I can get her up on the stick. Oh, they're quick. They are quick. And there you have it. That is the female Black Widow. How dangerous is this what you're doing right now? Uh, this is something you would never want to try at home. Uh, the only reason that I'm capturing the spider and getting it this close to my hands is so that you guys can get the chance to see it. And I really don't want to take my eyes off the spider at any point in time. What's very unique about these spiders is that they can actually control the amount of venom that they inject into their prey. And what's even more interesting and a little horrific is that once they've caught something that they're going to consume, they inject that venom, the enzymes in the venom break down the insides of their prey, and they basically drink it up like a milkshake. Whew. If you have arachnophobia, this is not the spider for you. Now this spider's rather easy to identify, especially the females. They have that classic hourglass symbol on their abdomen. It's bright red, and it basically says, I'm venomous, you better leave me alone. Now the reason that I wanted to catch this spider and show it to you guys is to show you something that it is dangerous. This is a spider you definitely need to have respect for, but you don't need to be afraid of it. You know, I came in here to its environment, flipped over this boat, took it out of its web, and I'm gonna put it right back where it came from. But the way people are bit most often is by mistake. You flip over your boat, you accidentally put your hand on it. A lot of times people accidentally sit on them. You know, you leave your shoes outside at night, make sure you shake out your shoes. You may be sticking your foot into the home of a black widow. <sighs> it makes me nervous. <laughs> The venomous spider this close to my finger. We want to let her go back into the wild. But I know you guys probably have plenty of questions about the Black Widow spider. Tell me about your encounters. Do you know anybody who's ever been bitten? I'm going to let this one go right now. We're going to head back off into the wild looking for some other animals. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, Subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.